Hey there again, how are y'all? Um, I got a video here today to talk about reaction papers. This is this is just a a general video about all about reaction papers in general, kind of to give you an expectation. I will, as I said at uh, the orientation video, I will put together a separate video for each reaction paper, but this is a general one as far as writing and what is expected of you. Okay, so. I want you to know that uh, that I've got a sample paper I'm going to go through here, but I want you to know that in these reaction papers, now you are college seniors, right, or juniors at least, and uh, so here's the deal. I mean, there are some high expectations on you. This 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 course this this course is not. I mean, hell, the point of college is not to memorize facts, all right? I, I don't. I don't have my phone with me, but if I did, I'd hold it up and I'd say, look, Siri has more facts on this stupid phone than you could ever shove into your brain. So the point of education is not, in fact, facts, okay? The point is to understand the big picture. The point is to be able to produce new thoughts. Hell, if I was in a different course, I would start talking about critical thinking, but I'll leave the critical thinking for another class, not for history. But the idea is the ability to regurgitate facts. History is not the ability... Well, <clears throat> the expectations I have of you are not the regurgitation of facts. History is an understanding of the big picture involved and putting it all together. So, right up front, I'm going to tell you that these reaction papers have as their primary goal that you will combine together the facts that you're learning and the opinions and ideas and thoughts that you have. As you go through the 10 different topics for these reaction papers, you're going to find that every reaction paper's um, assignment description is going to involve a combination of tell me some facts and then what are your opinions about these things, okay? The sample reaction paper we're going to be talking about to showing you here today is, is actually much, much further in the course, but it's one that involves behaviorism and punishment. Okay, and it had something, I can't remember exactly what the question was, but it had something to do with what's your opinion of punishment? Do you think that punishment is an effective way to, say, perhaps discipline children? All right, so it, I can't remember exactly. I think this is uh, reaction paper seven. I don't remember exactly, but anyway, you'll figure it out. Okay, so I want to show you this sample one just so that you can see how it might look, how yours might look in general. As I said, we'll, we'll specifically talk about them as we're going later. But here is just a general thing, okay? Here's a title page, and as we can see here on this title page, I hope you can see, I mean, it's, it's kind of rough to see on mine, but uh, this uh, sample paper is available as a PDF file up on Blackboard, so you can download it and see the details of it at any time. In fact, pause, get a copy of it from the PDF file so you can look at it, because, well, I can't really see it on my screen here, but maybe you can. All right, so the title page needs to look like this. There is, in APA style, there is really no substitute. This is just the way it is, okay? You take a look, in the top right corner is the page number one, in the top left corner is the words running head, and then a short version of the title. Take notice the words running head don't involve all capitals, but the short version of the title does involve all capitals. You notice that the running head and the page number are one half inch. In fact, you put them into the, you go to insert header, all right? That's where you put it in the header row, in your Microsoft Word insert header. You don't just put it on the first line of the paper. You put it under insert header. Then you see what I've put is those two lines there, reaction paper seven, history of psychology. Now those two on the top left there, those are not APA style. I just want those because in the course of a semester, I may well get 25 papers. I don't know, 25 papers, 25, hell, 2,000. All right, maybe not 2,000, but I'll get a lot of papers. And it's sometimes hard for me, see, because sometimes you guys will submit papers, and sometimes you'll say, submit them in the wrong spot or something, and I have to make a guess about what, what you've written. I, and so, I'm sorry to tell you, but sometimes I look at your papers and I can't figure out even what course it's for, okay? <laughs> um, yeah, it happens, okay? Ooh, shouldn't, but it does. 
Notice it says reaction paper seven. That is uh, the seventh reaction paper topic. All right. So it's not the seventh one you've written. I want I want you to record these or label these based on which paper assignment number it is. All right. Even if it's this, only the third one you've written, it's still called reaction paper seven because that is the assignment number. That means you've skipped a few before that, right? Take a look. Um, centered on the page there, uh, a little bit closer to the top than the bottom, uh, not exactly in the middle there, is those three lines. The first line there is the title of the paper. It is not called Reaction Paper 7. It has got to have a name, a title, okay? Then it's got your name on that next line there, and it's uh, with your middle initial if you have one. And then under that is a full name, Texas Wesleyan. So yours should have three lines that look very similar to that uh, with your own titles, of course. Okay. Page two, all right. Page two is going to be um, going to be again. Well, well, take a look. In fact, in the top left corner, starting on page two, those words "running head," which were on page one, are now gone. But the short version of the title is still there all capitals okay so take a look at that on the first page it said and on the second page it's slightly different and again this must be in the header row i will tell you as a fact getting microsoft word to do this kicks my ass every time okay it's it's called uh different header on page one or something like that oh my god is it difficult to figure it out i don't know what the hell i'm doing but what happens is if you can get one time make it work, then just save your paper and re whatever. Just figure it out, all right? You're college students. You can figure out technology, all right? Because I can figure it out. I don't enjoy it, but I can figure it out, okay? Um, set your margins to one inch on all sides, okay? Under the, under the page layout margins, I believe it is in Microsoft Word, set up one inch all around, all right? So, take a look there. The first line, um, you're going to repeat the title exactly it is, as it is on the first page. So, what does that say? Punishment, blah, 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 reinforcement. Uh, oh, no. Be, oh, punishment as behavioral control. I think that's what it says. Punishment as behavioral control, which was exactly the title. I mean, exactly the same words that were on the first page right there uh, as the title. Okay? So, then you start out and take note it's all double spaced here everything is double spaced here you see this right all double spaced you start on you know in other words that title is one inch from the top because you set one inch margins on the left side there's a one inch margin on the right side there's a one inch but take a look it's uh whatever okay and then the bottom is one and so what we see there is uh certain elements that i'm pointing out in this paper uh let me see uh, yeah, okay, you see this, this person wrote this, uh, wrote this first paragraph and then cited Hergenhan, which is in fact a textbook, right, Hergenhan 2009, which is the previous edition, because of course I got the sample paper from the last time I taught the course, right, so Hergenhan 2009, take a note, there's no page number there, uh, unless I used a direct quote, okay, as the paper moves along, we find that uh, the font, okay, there's a good point. The font, whatever font you use, and I mean, I personally like Arial 12 point. Um, Times New Roman is acceptable. Nothing bigger than 12 point and nothing less than 10 point. So it must be between 10 and 12 point font. And I personally, as I said, I like Arial, but the APA manual recommends using uh, Times New Roman. Eh, whatever. Courier is kind of ugly. Eh, but don't get all funky with that one. Uh, but whatever the font is, make sure every single part of the paper uses the same font. So take a look. The running head in the top left corner, the text itself, and the page number all are using the exact same font. And yes, it sticks out like a sore thumb if your font is not exactly the same. Okay? Take a look. Uh, da, da, da. Then, then, as you see on the second paragraph on this page, uh, it starts up with my philosophy. Aha! What is that telling me? Right up front, this person is not just telling me the facts, which is what the first page was, but is now getting into opinions, their philosophy, their thoughts. Okay. 
So clearly, a good reaction paper, that is to say, an educated college student, is one that can have opinions and back them up with facts. Okay, Because if you write a paper that is nothing but facts, it is boring and stupid, and my phone knows more facts than you do. And if it's nothing but opinions, then you're a blowhard, all right? You must, must present facts and provide opinions and make sure that the facts that you present back up your opinions and they may be smart. Okay, um, then as far as styling goes, you take a look there. Um, you see between these paragraphs, there is not an extra gap. See. Microsoft Word, by default, has a weird setting that is very annoying to people that have to grade hundreds of hundreds of APA papers. Um, by default, <coughs> Microsoft Word has in the, uh, wow, what does that say? Uh, the page layout tab, that's right. If you go to the page layout tab, and then there's a spot that says spacing after, all right? By default, that spacing after is set to 10 point. You need to set spacing after to zero, okay? Because if it if you leave it at the default, then it sticks in these big gaps. Anytime you hit enter on your uh, keyboard, big gaps get put in. You change that page layout spacing after to zero. That's APA style. And I, I thought it was just me that had a pet peeve with that, but boy, I heard some multiple faculty members telling me how annoying it is to great to to, to, to describe and uh, it, it just to see that it just it just makes your perfect paper look so bad, even though it's such a silly silly little thing. All right, this particular person, um, as I said, in our papers, the minimum requirement is two pages. So this person has written about two and a half pages of text, okay? And so um, that that's sufficient to pass the requirements of the requirements of the requirement, whatever. Pass the requirements. Um, if you write one page of text and then a few lines on a second page, that is most definitely not two pages, okay? When I say two pages of text, that means that you must have page one, title page, page two. Page two, minimum filled. Page three, awful close to filled if not filled, and very possibly a next page, okay? So at minimum, this page three ought to be almost, I mean, if you're not pretty much done with this page, then you have not written a two-page paper, all right? Then you have not, okay? Take a look here, and ding, back down. Uh, no, 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 no. Only one, I wrote two spaces after a period. That is not correct. Only one space. Um, APA style keeps modifying back and forth and back and forth. Uh, the most recent version actually has one space after a period. So make sure that you use only one. Um, but yet spacing, everything needs to be double spaced in the paper. There's in spacing between lines. Okay. Um, and then finally, yes, as a reaction paper, both facts and opinions. And then last but not least, this particular person has, in fact, used the textbook as a citation, as a reference citation. Take a look at all of those little notes I wrote on there. By the way, yes, this re reference page is a separate page with the word references centered on the first line. Um, take a look at all of those little notes I put on there on how exactly to cite it. You don't necessarily need to cite your textbook. Um, this person chose to. I think that the majority of the reaction papers probably, unless you've gone out to someplace obscure, and you might have, and I mean, hey, I, I, I hope that you do, okay? But unless you've gone out to something really outside of our book or outside of our notes, um, our notes in our book really don't need to be cited. So the majority of the reaction papers probably don't even need a reference page. Um, this is really probably appropriate only if you've, as I said, gone out and looked at something that wasn't part of the regular course. Okay, so now, quick reminder, I will have separate uh, videos for each reaction paper describing what, uh, what perhaps I would write if I were to be writing that paper. 
Um, and I will, uh, you'll be finding those wherever you found this particular video. All right, I will talk to you later.